Hey, Tom Patterson here at the National Museum of Naval Aviation in uh, Pensacola, Florida, at the Naval Air Station here where the uh, Blue Angels are based. I'll tell you, this is quite a museum. I would say one of the unsung aviation museums in the world. Some historic aircraft here. And the one I wanted to talk about today is the Navy SB-3 Viking. Here it is, we're standing right in front of it. This is a historic aircraft, one of a kind. Why? Because look at that name right there. On May 1st, 2003, then President George W. Bush flew aboard this aircraft in the cockpit, in the right seat, what you might call the co-pilot seat when he was flying from California out to the USS Abraham Lincoln for his famous mission accomplished speech aboard the aircraft carrier there. Um, now I'm told the president did take a turn at the controls during the flight and when he disembarked from the aircraft he mentioned that uh, he had a good time doing it, he enjoyed it, and uh, we all know that he has some flying experience when he was flying with the Texas National Guard after he graduated from college in the 60s. So here's the plane. What the Viking was mainly built for was for uh, submarine hunting, but later it was uh, tasked with electronic surveillance. You can see here that USS Abraham Lincoln, the aircraft carrier that Bush landed on, is emblazoned on the aircraft here. Also, the designation Navy One, because when the President was on board, that was the call sign of the aircraft. Whenever the President is aboard an aircraft, if it's an Air Force aircraft, Air Force One, if it's a marine helicopter, that would be Marine One. And in this case, this aircraft for a while was designated Navy One when the president was on board. When it landed, it was going about 150 miles an hour on the aircraft carrier. There were four steel cables that were spread across the landing deck to try to catch the plane by a hook that was under here. See where there, see there where it says danger arresting hook. And reports said that the hook caught the fourth cable and then came to a stop after rolling 400 feet on the deck of the aircraft carrier. Here's the other side. And I'm gonna step away from the aircraft to give you an idea how big it is. Now that helicopter above, that you see above the SB-3 Viking is a CH-46, the same kind of uh, helicopter that took part in Operation Frequent Wind during the evacuation of Saigon almost exactly 40 years ago this year. Here's the insignia of the group that this aircraft belonged to. And again, I can't say enough about this museum because it's great. I mean, this is just one of many historic aircraft that you can find here at the Naval Air Station at Pensacola, Florida. As I said, again, home of the Blue Angels. There's one of their F-A-18 Hornet aircraft right there. And I'm telling you, I am having the best time here. And I uh, can't emphasize enough how much you guys, if you're aviation geeks like myself, should um, make a chance to stop by here and, and visit at your next convenience. Thanks a lot for watching. This is my very first Periscope broadcast, and uh, it was fun. Hope you can make it here soon. Take care.